Hello, math makers, and thank you for joining me for part four of our unit on subtraction within 1000. Today, we're going to be learning about subtracting using models and partial differences. Now, so far in part one, we looked at subtracting tens and hundreds. In part two, we looked at using an, a, a number line to subtract, and we looked at counting up and counting back. Um, in part three, we looked at just using models. And today we're going to look at how models can show us how partial differences works. So we're just moving on, throwing us, showing us all the strategies we can use to solve a subtraction question. So as we get started every single time, I do want to start with some definitions, some things we need to know. Um, every um, subtraction problem, really addition problem, multiplication, everything, every problem is called an equation. Um, in subtraction, uh, the first number, usually the larger number, is called the minuend. The number you're subtracting is called the subtrahend, usually it's the smaller number. And the answer to a subtraction problem is called the difference. Now, I still want to go over these word problem terms, even though we haven't done any yet. They're coming. So I want to make sure you know them. Here are some common keywords for subtraction word problems. If you see these pr words in a problem, or even in the directions, you know you're probably subtracting, so don't get fooled by anything else. Uh, read these with me. Difference, less than, take away, minus, fewer, left over, have left, remain, minus, how many more? And if you see any of those terms in a subtraction problem, it's a good chance, I mean, our word problem is a good chance you're subtracting. Uh, next, we have these terms, less than, read this with me, if a number is less than another number, it is smaller than it. For example, 123 is less than 321. Next, we have greater than, if a number is greater than another number, it is larger than it, it's bigger. So, for example, 500 is greater than 200, it's bigger than it, so it's greater than. Then we have the word decrease. If numbers decrease, they get smaller. These numbers decrease. 500, 400, 300, 200, 100. They get smaller as they go, and so they decrease. When you subtract, the answer is smaller than the menu end. So that number has decreased. Regroup, and we've used regrouping a lot this week. Um, when you regroup, you rearrange or you form into different groups. For example, for every 10 ones, there's one 10. Vice versa, for every one ten, there's ten ones. And for every ten tens, there's one hundred. Same thing for every one hundred, there's ten tens. So make sure we know that because you need to know this to be able to solve subtraction questions or really addition questions within a thousand. Next we have place value. You need to know it's ones, tens, and hundreds place. Digits, each numeral in a number is a digit. So this is a three-digit number, 523. This down here is a two-digit number, 75. We have our standard form of writing it, our word form, and our expanded form or expanded notation. And as you've noticed with subtraction, being able to do this really helps with addition and subtraction. It's also going to help with multiplication later. All right, let's get started. We're going to do a couple with regrouping and a couple without, just to make sure you understand the process. So let's do our first one, 764 minus 341. Just like with models, we're going to build it first. We have 700, we have 60, <coughs> and we have 4. The first thing I'm going to do is subtract <coughs> the hundreds place. So I look here in this number in my subtrahend, and that number is a 3, that's 300. So I'm going to cross out 300s and I'm going to subtract 300. And when I subtract 300, I have 464. And of course, we can easily see that right here. 1, 2, 3, 4 is 400. And of course, we didn't touch these, so there's still 64. Next, we're going to subtract our 10s. There's a 4 in the 10s place right here, which means that's 40. So we're going to cross out 4 10s. We're going to subtract 40. Again, I still have 400. 10, 20, 4. So that is going to be 424. 
And last, we're going to subtract that 1 right there. We're going to cross out 1, 1. Again, these two haven't changed. These are still the same. So it's still 420, 1, 2, 3, 423, which means 764 minus 341 is 423. You see how you can, again, we're using models, but we're showing how it works over here. I'm not building the expanded notation again this time, but we sort of are over here because I have 340 and 1. Let's do another one. 485 minus 234. Again, I'm going to build my menu end. 480, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, I'm going to go ahead and subtract my hundreds place. And what's in the hundreds place? A 2. And that represents... 200, that's correct. So I'm going to cross out 200s. And again, these state the same. So that 85 is unchanged. It doesn't change at all. Only right here changes. And it goes from 400 to 200. So we have 285. What do I subtract next? My 10s, you're right. And what's in the 10s place? A 3, that's right. And that stands for... 30. That's right. It stands for 30. And I crossed out three tens. 10, 20, 30. So again, I still have two here. But now instead of having eight, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I have five. And of course, those five stayed the same. So that's going to be 255. And again, you can see the answer right over here. What do I subtract next? The ones, that's right, because I have a four in the ones place. So I'm going to cross out four ones. Again, all the, the answer is already here. We're just going to write it down. 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 250, 1. Because 5 minus 4 is 1. 251. I've subtracted my 200, my 30, and my 4, which means my answer is 251. So 485 minus 234 is 251. Now, <clears throat> those, neither one of those required us to regroup. We are going to regroup for these next two. I want to show you two without regrouping and two with, and then we're going to be done. All right, so let's look at our next question. Our next question is 572 minus 124. And we start the same way. We build our 572, which we have here. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 72. So that's 572. Still going to subtract that 100 first. So I cross out 100 and I subtract 100. So now instead of 572, I have 472. Uh, next, just like before, I subtract my 10s. What do I have in the 10s place at 124? I have a 2, which stands for 20. So I'm going to subtract 20, and I'm going to cross out 2. Still have 400, but instead of 70, I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Still have 2 there. So I have 452. Next, I'm going to subtract my 4 1s. Now, if you see, I crossed out 2, but I couldn't cross out 4. I, I need some more 1s. Now, I'm going to go ahead and subtract my 2 here because now I have 450. 1, 2, 3, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. But I'm not done yet because I still need to find two ones. This is where we regroup. So if you remember, the definition of regroup means to rearrange. So I'm going to rearrange one of these 10s and I'm going to turn it into 10 ones. Now, do I still have a 10? Absolutely. I can count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So all I've done is taken that 10 and turned it into 10 ones. That's what regrouping is. It's rearranging. Now that I've done that, I have some more ones over here, and I can go ahead and subtract those last two ones. So I'm going to cross out two ones. I'm going to subtract it here. Now again, this is where it might get tricky. 
I still have 400, but I don't have five tens anymore because I moved this one. It's not there. You can't see it. It's disappeared. So I now have 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 448. And you can see it here. Now you might know that 450 minus 2 is 448 just by counting backwards twice. You absolutely could have done that. But I just want to prove that 572 minus 124 is 448. <clears throat> and there is a process to doing that. You can't subtract ones if they aren't there. You have to go and find them somewhere else. And that's how we do. We regroup. We borrow. We, re -re we regroup. We take this 10 and we move it over here and we put 10 here. Now, let's do one more. We're going to regroup here too. I want to show you how to do it. Just so you understand. We have a big number now. 945. I have 940. 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to subtract 263. So again, I start with the, with the hundreds. That's right. So I'm going to go ahead and cross out two hundreds. Again, my 45 here didn't change, but now I have 700 because 9 minus 2 is 7. So 900 minus 200 is 700. Next, I'm going to subtract my tens. Now, it says I have to subtract six tens because there's a six in the tens place. And as before... I only can do four because I only have four there. So I'm going to have to regroup. Now, just like with the ones, I still want to go ahead and subtract those 40 just so I know what number I'm with. I still have 700. I have nothing in the tens place. So that's a zero and a five. So I'm at 705. But I still need to find two more tens for these. I regroup. Remember, regroup means rearrange. So I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to take one of these hundreds and I'm going to rearrange it into 10 tens because 10 tens makes 100 and 100 makes 10 tens. But now that I have more tens here, I can subtract those two tens. So I'm going to subtract two of those tens and I'm going to subtract it from here. Now, if you can't figure out how that is, again, count what's left. Remember, this one's not here anymore. So I'm going to count my hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So I know my hundreds is going to be a 6. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So I have 680. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm at 685. Now, that was the hard part. Now I just have to subtract one more. My ones place is a 3. I'm going to cross out 3. I'm going to subtract it, and now I have a 2 in that 1's place, which is 682, which means 945 minus 263 is 682. I hope that helps bring a little understanding. Again, we did 2 with regrouping, 2 without, um, and I hope that helps explain what we are doing right now um, with subtraction. Until next time, guys. I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks for coming.